Theodore, can you tell me when things started acting peculiar between you and Sylvester? Well, I'd have to say it all started when Carlos got there. I tried to be nice to Carlos, okay? He was my friend first. I tried. Yes, I blew up at him at first, okay? You know, but I just put our differences aside. I knew what his motives were, but, you know, he wanted, Sylvester wanted to ignore that. He just liked to be surrounded by beautiful young boys. Pervert. So, you know, I wanted to keep things cordial, and I wanted to keep the house in one piece, and I wanted to keep peace in the house, so... I Carlos, honey, you're gonna get a cold. Here, I'll just adjust the thermostat for you. Come on, now you can sit. You just can't have it. <sighs> very, very glad that we've been able to put our differences aside. And I'm glad we're gonna be good friends again. I mean, there's just no other way. tried to play the part of Carlos's friend. Where is Carlos? Well, Carlos just had to go. And then Sylvester started sneaking around as if I didn't know it was with Carlos. <laughs> You're going to see Carlos, aren't you? Yeah. Uh. Uh, I need to have a bunch of moron young boys falling around drunk and high. Ugh, so annoying. I would just go out and drink on the terrace, gazing at the stars. Feeling so alone. Strange things started happening in the house. Things that we could not explain. Guess that'll be. It just was like we had a poltergeist or something. <sighs> Some ghosts that like to go around and pry in your underwear drawer. Very weird behavior. So that's where we need to have a talk. We need to have a talk about that kid in there. I keep finding him in my underwear drawer. Why do you want to leave, Sylvester? Why don't you want to make it work? You have history. Look, a wise woman once said to me, Don't go for second best, baby. Put your love to the test. You've got to make him express how he feels. They can make you feel like a queen on a throne. Make them love you till you can't come down. Long stem roses are the way to your heart, but you need to start with your head. You deserve the best in life. So if the time isn't right, then move on. Second best is never Enough. You'll do much better, baby, on your own. And when you're gone, he will regret it for all the love he once had. He'll try to move on, but he just won't get it. He'll be back on his knees to express himself. Respect your And I feel like that's what everyone is doing. I, I think, uh, why do people settle? I'm not settling anymore because I deserve the best in life. Everybody deserves the best in life, and, and that's just the truth. I'm not settling anymore. I won't. 
won't do it, and I'm afraid that's why I'm, I'm, I'm just done with you, Sylvester. Just done. Sylvester, when did you first realize that you love Theodore? Are you asking him that? I mean, are you ready for some, you know, wise cracking asshole reply? <laughs> Sylvester, what are you? Uh, well, it was when I got laid off from a. Uh, one of my jobs, and uh, I was really uh, sick. I w had to go to the hospital <sighs> the next day for a checkup. And, uh, I know. yeah, you come strolling in the bathroom. This feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. I don't have much money. But boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. If I was a sculptor, but then again, no. Or a man who makes potions in a traveling show. I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my song, and this, this one's for you. <sighs> and you can tell everybody, and this is your song. It may be quite simple, but... Now that it's done, I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that, that I put down the words, how wonderful life is while you're in the world. <laughs> I know, I know, my voice is awful, it's awful, awful, but it's my voice. <laughs> that one's for you, Sylvester. You're gonna be okay tomorrow, I promise you that, okay? You will be. Alright, now get out of that tub. You look older than what you are. He thought he was going to die. I remember. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees. <laughs> oh, I think you two are going to be okay. Do you believe in love? Because I got something to say about it. And it goes something like this. Don't go for sex